All right, so it looks like I'm gonna have to throw my Warframe bingo card Tenocon in the trash because, man, I did not even come close with what they revealed here. Now, I wanna talk about something super specific in this video. So we're not gonna talk about Soul Frame yet, this a separate video. And we're not gonna talk about the other Warframe reveals, uh, the giant mech stuff and all that. I specifically just wanna to talk to you guys about the one thing that is just tickling my inner parts. And that is Warframe 1999. What the heck? Why would, look, Warframe 1999. If you haven't seen Tenocon, you're probably like, what the heck is Magamalu talking about? So what they're doing is they're rewinding and showing somewhat of a prequel and connecting it back to Warframe in the modern times. Holy cow. Like this has so much brain breaking potential. And I hate to like like have expectations on this and think this is going to be super awesome because you know expectations are like the enemy but i kind of have to because you know the potential in this is is pretty interesting right so um basically if you guys don't know the history of warframe which most of you do whatever just bear with me for a second warframe was initially dark sector they pitched warframe uh but the the publishers changed it to something that was more modern. So you ended up with Hayden Tenno instead of the actual Tenno, the Warframes, right? This main character kind of gruff main character. Um, now, I don't know if Warframe still owns the rights or ever did own the rights to Dark Sector. So what they're doing here is actually kind of interesting. So they're introducing a new character instead of Hayden Tenno. His name is Arthur. Again, we got this gruff Witcher type character. Rebecca, I see what you're doing here. Um, but this guy, I guess, you know, author Excalibur, you see what they did with it, King Arthur. Um, but this character is going to be part of a Warframe update next year, again, called Warframe 1999. And this is kind of blowing my mind from like a creative standpoint, right? Because, oh man, so many things come to mind. Okay, let's just start from the story aspect, right? Being able to go back and show how Warframe became what it is, like giving it the the contextualization because Warframe is some wacky stuff, man. Like you got these space ninja infested cyber nano machines jumping all over the place and these Grenier and Corpus and, and, and laser blasters. And there is very little context, man. It's weird and it's interesting, but it's very little context. And to see this, to see the Warframe universe grounded like this, it's, it's tickling my... Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop saying that. But it is actually um, a cool thing to contextualize the Warframe universe in a way that's grounded, right? And and to be able to see it and it makes sense, right? So so from a story side, that's pretty cool. So they can like show like, this is how the universe got started from the context of modern times. So I, I think that's pretty cool. That's just the story stuff. We got so much more to go. You guys got to bear with me, all right? Um, But let's also go from the perspective of just feel of the game and a new feel of the game because this is just my opinion you guys might not agree i'm burned out on the future stuff man like and it's not just warframe most of the games i play have this dystopian futuristic stuff going and, and at the end of the day most of it is just the same so it's not warframe's fault you know warframe does whatever it does but me personally the future stuff is kind of burned out so to see a warframe character in the modern times i'm gonna be honest with you it looks better like seeing that that gray kind of grounded gritty warframe with the modern guns he's got like a modern rifle nothing too futuristic or anything too crazy um he's got the human head on him and um like the the leather straps and everything on the warframe again i see i see the witcher references here this is getting a little horny but anyway um, author against or Excalibur against the backdrop of modern times is doing it for me. And, and I really stared at this image for a long time to really get the feel for it. It is just, it fits like I, I once, and, and I'm not trying to criticize Warframe here, but I've, I've actually heard someone refer to another game that looked like Warframe as gaudy gaudy at times and when i saw that i thought about the void because the void is very gaudy I, i'm not a fan of the way the void looks you know um i like things a little more gritty i don't need like the, the shine of all that so to see something more gritty more realistic uh textures there 
and and to see items and imagery that you, your eyes are a little more familiar with. I don't know, man. It, it felt really good for me. So I'm like, you know what? I really like this. So I'm I'm hoping that this is not just a mission playthrough. And I'm going even further. I'm hoping that this is not just a tile set that you'll just be able to run and do missions like a side quest off of, you know, a main hub. Um, Rebecca used the words, the future of Warframe, and I'm going a little too far here. I'm just warning you guys, we're going down the rabbit hole. We are flying right down this thing, this thing like Alice. Rebecca said that she wanted to show the future of Warframe. And this may not specifically be what she's talking about, but dude, do I hope so. Because you guys know, I, to be honest, I don't really play this game outside of new updates and going back every now and then to run a few missions like every three months. If this is like contextually something I can do, I'd play the game. I'm just being honest. Um, I said this about the Teshin gameplay and the call stuff and the Corpus guy and all of this. I've said it, you know, if, if the game was recontextualized around maybe a character or around an environment or bringing down the power of the Tenno, we're going to talk about Soul Frame in a video soon. I just feel like it's something that I would be interested in, interested in. It's not just me and the world doesn't revolve around me. But man, I would play these subway missions with author till my fingers bled because it just looks cool to me. You know, it, everything looks grounded and it really gives, I would even go as far as to say it really stretches um, what Warframe does well and makes it shine even more when it's brought down a little bit. Now, this is going to bring me to the next thing because we're talking about bringing things down a little bit. I've watched this trailer about four times. I, I tried to get as much detail as possible. And the other thing that I noticed is in the combat in the subway, have you guys noticed this? Very little ability use. I've talked about this, right? That gameplay looks great where he's shooting the freaking CRT monitor monsters. I guess they're um, nano machines or whatever who took over the whatever. But he's shooting them. Gameplay looks great. But I think that gameplay looks so great because of the lack of abilities. And this is something I've been saying about Warframe. The ability spam throws me off. I, me personally, I play the game way less because of that. Because I'm just not into the press four, 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 four. And, and I think even now they're going back in where you don't have to tap the melee over and over. That's a cool thing where you just hold the melee and it it, it fires off rapid fire um, like a macro. Um, but the abilities are a bit much in Warframe from a gameplay perspective. And they throw me off personally to where I go, oh, I don't really want to do that. But if they do this modern times thing where it's more about the speed of the Warframe and the weapons, and, you know, a little bit of abilities. He uses, like, one ability right there at the end. If you don't, guys don't know what that ability is, it's like a, it's like an AoE sword thing. It's from old Warframe, right? Now he has the Exalted Blade thing. But I think that that's really great that he doesn't use a bunch of abilities. Again, it feels more grounded, right? Um, But I, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. You guys let me know. I really liked what they did with it now the final thing is and this is super smart and like i said rebecca i see what you're doing um rebecca loves the, the witcher gruff masculine <laughs> you know um archetype and this guy has the same author has the same energy um like i said they probably can't use hayden Tenno. i don't know what the the legal ramifications of that honestly at this point they should have enough money to buy it but why even do it they have author now they don't need hayden Tenno. And plus, Tenno doesn't mean Hayden Tenno anymore. It means Zaraman 10 0, right? So they don't even need Hayden Tenno anymore. Um, author, I think the cool thing about this character is it was really hard before because you got the mask thing in Warframe, right? Everyone's under the mask. Anybody could be Frost, right? And that helps you get into the character. But one cool thing about gaming is when you have a character that you can latch on to, right? Like Super Mario, uh, Link, you know. You have all these characters who are actual people with actual missions in life. They have character arcs. They change. They have uh, character traits, you know, so it's cool to be able to latch on to a character. And I think this does this for Warframe in a way that it hasn't really done before. Like Teshin and uh, he, he's like a like a secondary supporting character. Right. And even characters like Teshin and Lotus, for the most part, have had masks on. 
But having like a main character that's always got that mask off, I think does something interesting for the game branding wise and story wise and character wise. That I don't think Warframe really has had before. So that's cool, man. Warframe may have a main character. Dude, what year are we living in? It's actually kind of interesting, right? But anyway, I just want to tell you guys, Warframe 1999. Now, um, I am doing something interesting. If you guys don't know, um, I upload way less because I've really been learning game design myself. So I may do some cool things. This has actually inspired me to do some interesting things with uh, Warframe and game design. I'm not going to talk about it too early, but, you know, it may be some fun things to do on the side just for the, the learning experience and uh, just for the goofiness of it.